What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Happy New Year, you guys. It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do a video for you guys. Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Give me a like for this one. We're going to be going just straight on into this. No makeup, no nothing, no nothing. I'm not going to even be trying to show my face today. I'm just going to get through. This is Super Bowl Sunday, and I know some of y'all are going to be talking bad about me in the comments because I didn't get this done so y'all can make it for Super Bowl. I'm wrong for that, but I'm eating it for Super Bowl. Ah, girl, stop. I just wanted mine to be fresh. Or like my mom said, fresh, okay? I want it to be fresh. So we're going to go right into here, into my big pie, you guys. I'm doing a lot of these. I ain't tell them, no. I'm doing gumbo greens. And I'm doing a lot of these greens because I know that my kids are going to be coming over and they're going to be wanting some of these gumbo greens. So uh, one thing that I've done already, let me show y'all something over here in this other pot. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. Can y'all see that pot right there? I have me some turkey wings in there, you guys. They've been cooking for quite some time, a couple of hours already. And I'm just letting those get ready. My gumbo greens are going to have turkey wings, Cajun sausage, and Dewey sausage, and shrimp in it. Now, but in order to call it gumbo uh, greens, we got to just make sure that we have some gumbo-ish stuff in there, right? So we know that our good gumbo store with a delicious roux. So that's what I'm going to be starting with right now. I'm going to show you guys. I have a cup of oil in this big daddy pot i'm gonna put me a cup of flour in here now this is going to take some time but i'm gonna show you the different um what is what do you want to say stages of getting this roux the way we want it can y'all see so we're gonna be getting it it's gonna be that light color then it's gonna go from that light color it's gonna go to that uh, you know, a light brown, then it's going to go a little bit darker. Then it's going to get to that peanut buttery stage that we know and that we love. It takes a little bit, and it takes a little bit of patience. And I'm short, and this pot is almost taller than me. But we're going to start with it at this, this range right here. And what I'm just going to have to do, you guys, is I'm just going to have to babysit this and... Stir it and stir it and stir it. And I'm going to just let you guys see. You see it starts at a tan consistency. It's got this, it's light skinned, you know. It's been uh, sunburned a little bit. But it's just, you know, it's yellow hammer, I guess. You know, so I'm going to let this keep on cooking. As it get browner, I'm going to let you see, okay. So hold on just a second. This is a new phone, you guys. So I hope this, I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's getting a little bit browner. You see that? It's getting where it's that cream gravy consistency, right? And I'm going to keep on doing this <clears throat> till I have it at that rich, dark brown consistency. And that we're sweeping it across and that it's thick, okay? So I'm going to keep on playing with this. Yeah, you got to make sure you don't eat your spinach. You got to make sure that arm um, is strong because you just got to stand here and stir it. Just not gonna make y'all watch me do this because it's just like watching paint dry. Hold on a second. See it changing? Look at that. Now it's at that peanut butter kind of peanut butter stage. We're just gonna keep on going. I know it's a process, but it's so rewarding when you get that root to that deep color and that will show up in your gumbo and it's gonna show up in our gumbo greens. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on going. Okay, you see that? I think this is where I want it to be now, y'all. Real good. Dark, dark brown, rich. I know it's going to look good up against my greens, okay? I know it's thick enough because I can go through there like that, you know? So that's it. That's my flour and my oil. Okay, to this, you guys, I'm going to be adding my Holy Trinity. Not the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I'm going to be adding me some peppers, onions, and celery. And I'm going to just put, I have my fresh um, <clears throat> garlic in here as well. So I'm going to be adding that, you guys. And what we want to do is just let these vegetables get uh, tender, okay? I'm going to turn our fire down. And we're just going to let these uh, vegetables marry on each other, okay? Get tender. And then we'll start adding our seasonings, okay? 
Don't get scared. Just keep on stirring it. We still have to keep stirring it. We're not adding our liquid yet. We just got to be calm and we just got to know we get into the end game. We just keep on stirring just like this. I'm going to be adding Cajun seasoning, Creole seasoning, garlic powder, um, pepper, salt, and some paprika. Do your seasonings that you love, your seasonings of choice. I'm going to go ahead on and put my seasonings in. Now, y'all know what I say. I always start with a tablespoon of seasoning. But this is a big uh, pan of pot of uh, greens and stuff, you guys. So I'm going to be seasoning and I'm going to be letting my uh, ancestors guide me uh, with how much. They don't never let me down. So I'm just going to go right on with them. And I know they're going to be like, that's enough, my child. And when they say that's enough, my child, that's when I'm going to stop. But again, what I'm going to be using, Creole seasoning. I love a kick with my greens. I have to be um, kind of... Not my usual wild self. My mom is here, so I don't want to burn it out when she can't even eat none. Cayenne seasoning. Okay. Black pepper. I'm not doing my salt, y'all. Just like that. No black pepper. Okay. I'm going to say about two tablespoons per if you got a big jar, uh, like a big pot like I'm cooking. But if you're doing normal stuff... Like people with sense and, you know, you ain't going wild like I'm always doing. You know, one tablespoon per seasoning that you just love and enjoy. Let it be the seasonings that you love, y'all. I'm not trying to tell nobody how to season their food. You know if you have, y'all know how I am about garlic, honey. Garlic is going to be, <laughs> I ain't listening to the uh, ancestors. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put how much garlic in and I'm going to put how much garlic I want to. Let me get my salt. Smells all good already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get the stirring, baby. I'm so short and this, this pot's so tall. And I'm so scared I'm going to burn myself. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to take it for the team, honey. All right. We're going to let this just get in here and marry, like I said. Fill on each other. Boom, chicka, boom, boom on each other. And then we're going to be pouring our broth, which I used a 48-ounce box of chicken broth. And I put my wings in that broth. I didn't season it with anything else because I knew it was going in here. Yeah, that's getting good, okay? Now, that's another thing with my little short self. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be pouring that in here, but I, that's going to require me to move y'all back some. So I'm going to move y'all back back a little bit, and then I'm going to be pouring. You know what? I'm going to go ahead on. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to go ahead on and put my sausage in here just so they can get a little cook on them. I'm going to put them in here as well with my Holy Trinity and my gravy. Just so I can put us some little, I want some color on these sausages, okay? And and that's another thing about me with my shrimp. I don't just like to raw dog them all up on here on the top at the end. I want them to have a little something to them, but I'm going to try not to do that. Maybe I'll just season them really good and heavy and just put them in here at the end and not, you know, put a cook on them because these greens will get cooked for an uh and warmed up, you know, several times. So I'm, I'm gonna try not to have people eating kills uh shrimp, but we like our shrimp killed. We don't be caring about it being rubber child as long as it's got a good taste to it, child. We don't be worrying about no ooh, you overdoing that. So I'm gonna let this cook just in, and marry just a minute. And we're gonna come back. And when we come back, I'm gonna be I'm I'm probably gonna go go ahead on and pour my liquid on there because I'm going to have to move this camera back and everything so I can make sure I don't burn myself with this tall pot. So I'll be back in just a minute, okay? Okay, y'all see that rich, beautiful, beautiful base right there? Now I'm going to be pouring my... I'm sorry, I know that's annoying. I'm going to be pouring my broth on here. I'm going to try to do it with y'all on here. So uh, I'm risking it all right now. 
with my little shrunk behind. But I'm gonna try. Okay, so we're gonna put the broth that came from our do I do I need this time? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the broth in here, you guys, right in here with our sausage. We're going to put those chicken, uh, turkey wings in there as well. We'll be taking them off of the bone later. Okay. Right now. Right now. Okay. Y'all, we cooking some stuff. We cooking. Okay. I'm going to, this is going to be cooking an additional, these turkey legs, turkey wings, an additional hour at least with my greens, you guys. And then I'm gonna be removing it off this bun, but I'm gonna cook it. It's already pretty tender. Cause like I said, I had been cooking it over an hour already. So it's already pretty tender as you can see. See that? It's already pretty tender, it's already falling off. But I want it to fall off even more, okay? So now we're gonna start adding all those greens. Let me go get my greens. I'm gonna start putting all my greens in here. And then I'll see if I wanna add some more broth that's going to be personal to you but i do want it to get rude up a little bit i don't want it to be really really watery because you want if you're going to call it gumbo greens you want to have that consistency of that base being like gumbo so hold on let me go get my greens okay you guys i'm gonna start i start dropping these i'm using collards today you guys um and like i said i have about seven bunches i want to say you won't need that much. You won't be doing that much. You know, you probably just need a 32 ounce uh, box of broth. You won't need as much sausage. I have like three uh, andouille long sausages cut up. And uh, you'll probably only need two. But it just depends on how much you're cooking. You kind of have to decide that on your own. Uh, else I can just do the recipe in the description box. I will have it for two um, two sausage uh, links and do your sausage. You know the long kind. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll have it for get on in that chair for that, and then um, with using four bunches of greens. How about that? That's how I will do my recipe for that when we do that. And so this is you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna cook down. It's gonna have more broth to it. Um, get more life to it. We won't be dropping those um, shrimp in there until the last minute. I mean, this going to have to at least cook, you guys, for another hour, okay? When we come back, my bones, my meat will be deboned, and we'll be dropping that shrimp in there, and we'll be almost there to tasting time. Mm. Mm. Ooh, that tastes so good. It's got a good taste. That broth got a good taste. So we're just going to put a top on here and let it do its business, okay? While it's doing its business, I'll do some other business, and then we'll come back, okay? Well, y'all, look at these delicious gumbo greens, you guys. This has turned out better, I think, than I even imagined. I've been waiting for these greens for weeks, and I just have been so busy and hadn't cooked really, but I wanted these greens today. Yes, I wanted greens for Super Bowl and cornbread. <laughs> so now all we have to do, you guys, is put this last little number in here. And it's going to be all my little jumbo shrimp, you guys. Much as you want. I have about three packages of um, colossal size uh, deveined. And I took the tails off of them. I don't want to be wrestling no tails. I just want to eat this gumbo greens. Oh, my God. I can't wait. So, all we have to do now, y'all know that's not going to take long. We're going to let these shrimp sit in this broth and cook and sit in these greens and get all those flavors on them. I did season them with some... Um, uh, Creole seasoning and some paprika for some color, but I was so tempted to sear them, but I said no, I'm just gonna go right on in there and raw dog them right on into the broth and into the uh, the greens, and we're gonna just cover it right on back up. And in 15 minutes, you guys, my cornbread will be ready, and we will be ready to try 
these delicious gumbo greens. Can't wait. Well, 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 you guys, we are at the end of this video. And would you look at these delicious gumbo greens? Honey, baby, let me put it in a little bowl or something. Maybe you can get a little. Baby, the taste is off the chain. The broth is brothing. The roux is what is broth. The roux is ruining. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not about to eat, but I'm about to show y'all how good this looks. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to get into this, honey. And I'm going to be through doing everything before I even attempt to get into this beautiful bowl. Okay, I did make some rice since my mom is here. I made me some cornbread. Just look at it though. Just, just, just. Do y'all want to taste it? Open your mouth and just suck some down in your mouth, child. Oh, okay. I know y'all want me to. I know y'all want me to. Let me taste it for y'all. That um, turkey meat, honey. I didn't have to take it out or nothing, baby. That stuff just started falling off them bones, honey. And all I had to do was take the bones out. Just came slick on off. Look at that. Let me taste this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Y'all, this is so good. I am not exaggerating. It's so good. I want y'all to make this gumbo greens, okay? This video will be up in 24 hours. Well, I don't know why I'm telling y'all, because y'all will be looking at it when it's up. A bug, <laughs> duh, and puh. Anyway, y'all, I'm so excited for y'all to um, taste this. If you have not already looked at how I, I hope this ain't too hot, how I retitize my Martha Stewart cornbread, I will link that in the description as well. Just throw a little piece of little rice on top of these and see what I think about that. With a little rice in it. Let me just put a little rice in it and see. I'm doing that because I'm hoping that that will... It's not very hot to me and my daughter, but I don't know what, what my mom will uh, will think of it. With this rice on. Let me see. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-mm-mm. -hmm. I can't wait. I can't get out of here. Uh uh. Mmm, -uh. that's a big old piece. Yeah. Mm. Y'all, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this one. Don't forget to like, comment. Ooh, it's hot, y'all. Sure. <laughs> sure. And subscribe, y'all. And let's get back to doing some content. I'm going to get back to doing some content. The world going to keep on spinning. Ain't no use of me trying to wait for the perfect time to come back. Life going to be lifing. And we're going to be here getting through it in Jesus' name. Ain't that right? We're going to keep on getting through it in Jesus' name. I want you guys to promise me that y'all will make y'all some gumbo greens. Ain't nothing like it. I make some good greens, but this is a new... Let me see if I can get y'all closer. Let me see. New lease on life. It just looks so good do they not or do they do i see you guys on the next one when we see what readers cooking your food ain't all the way live until it's been read happy 2024 happy super bowl sunday you will see this after super bowl sunday don't be mad because i didn't get this ready for super bowl sunday i don't want to hear it keep it to yourself love y'all see you next time